Welcome everyone, this is the Shrink Gamer with another video for the Wild 8 and in this video I will show all the items I found by the time I finish the part 1 of the game. If you found any other items not listed here, please leave a comment telling us what is it and describe a little the building or the place where you found it. So let's start with weapons. Baseball bat. A simple, quick weapon that increases the damage your character can do. Durability of 90 and damage of 10 to 15. This weapon I found in the same diner where I found the motorcycle helmet. Battle knife. Durability 130 and damage 15 to 22. I found it in a little house. Crowbar. It's a tool. However, as melee weapon, it's even greater. Durability 150, which is really, really good. And damage 15 to 22. The crowbar was found during the quest Wrong Place, Wrong Time. Factory X. The best X that can be found. Durability of 165. Damage 15 to 22. The X, I don't really remember where I found it, but well, here it is. Factory Pickaxe. The best pickaxe that can be found. Durability 165, damage 15 to 22. The pickaxe I found in a cave inside a spiral crater. Guard's Baton. A simple, quick weapon that can increase the damage your character can deal. Durability 105, damage 12 to 18. Not too good, but better than most crafted weapons. I found the guard's baton in a station that had something that looks like a generator in a kitchen. Harpoon, an excellent weapon that increases the damage your character can deal. Durability 125, damage 15 to 21. I found the harpoon in a broken down building. It stays by a cliff on a huge crater which has an antenna tower as a bridge to the middle of the crater. You guys probably saw it, there's, there's the symbol of four warehouses. Machete, an excellent weapon that increases the damage your character can deal. Durability 130, damage 15 to 22. The machete I found in the same building where we encountered the first werewolf. Pipe wrench, not just a tool, but also a good melee weapon. Durability 130, damage 13 to 19. And I found this in the same building as I found the machete and the werewolf. And these were all the weapons I found. Now let's move on and see the helmets. Anti-radiation helmet. One size fits all. It provides partial protection against radiation. This one I found in the building with a broken roof where you can only enter through the roof. Ear flap hat. Just what you need in this kind of weather. Your ears have never been so happy. This one I found during the quest Endless Years of Waiting. Guard's Helmet, a sturdy helmet that provides additional defense. The Guard's Helmet I found in a big warehouse, one of those that are laying around. Motorcycle Helmet, a sturdy helmet that provides additional defense. The Motorcycle Helmet I found in the same diner where I found the baseball bat. Vapor 3 Hazmat Helmet, an excellent helmet that someone apparently wore while working with radiation. This one I found during the quest Lost Future and Wrong Place Wrong Time. And these were all the headpieces I found so far. Now let's move on to armor. The only armor I found in the whole game was the Vapor 3 Protective Suit. A high-tech armor suit that also prevents poison. An excellent find. This is the best of that you can get, even against the cold. When I was wearing the Vapor 3 protective suit, my cold meter just would go down really, really slow. So I highly recommend you to use it at all times, not only against radiation. Now, the tools. The only tool I was able to find was a hacksaw. The hacksaw is a tool that increases the amount of wood you can gather. I found it in a cave where you find a skeleton of a man or woman who cuts his own leg and try to cook it. Too bad he died before he could take his first bite. Oh, what a pity, go through all that trouble for nothing. I'm not sure, but my best guess is that this is an easter egg for the first Saw movie, but who can say? 
So these were all the items I could find so far in the game. Uh, remembering that this is the early access version of the game and I only played until the part one was finished. When they release more content, I will make updates and post another videos with whatever items I find. Don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Because if you don't subscribe, you know, you could die in Alaska without nothing to hold on. I see you guys next time.